Warning! This is not the Expertise Podcast. This is an illegally recorded phone conversation about the Expertise Podcast. By listening, you are party to that illegality. And that's the best kind of party there is. I'm so glad that you picked up today. Yeah, there is a lot going on that I need to talk to you about. These weekly business calls that nobody hears but us. To me, it's the most important time of the week. You know, it really is what makes the podcast tick. Well, you're right. And it's so nice to be able to just talk you and I, knowing that there's no other ears ringing, uh, listening to us. So we can just be ourselves and not those, you know, podcast personas that we have to put on. God, I, I get sick of us. Do you? Oh, I am so I'm so sick of us. I have ringing in my ears. Yeah, Claire, it's mostly you that I'm sick of. It's so if you just stay silent for a minute. I get it. Uh, I you, just totally let me catch my breath. Absolutely. No, no. Just I'm going to just be quiet get, because I hear it. you. I you're, hear what you are saying. I want you to stop it. And I'm not taking it. offense. I'm no, not no, at all. Not, I, I'm going to be that, silent for you. Okay, that's all I'm asking for just a minute. Claire. Yes, Dano. I'm sitting here at my vintage 1930s roll-top desk on the west wall of the Expertise podcast office. Out the bay window, overlooking yeah. Pavement Avenue. Yes, love it. Claire, I don't know if you've been in the office this week. I don't know if we have gremlins. But one by one, my office supplies from within my locked roll-top desk oh seem to be gosh. going missing. This again? Again, you say? Well, Dano. I don't have a single postage stamp. okay. Stand up, stand up from the desk, step away, uh, uh, right? Okay, uh-huh. step around your desk. Okay. Um, uh, okay, I'm around the back of the desk. Yes, come around to the front of your office. Okay, I'm Open all the way the to the door. front. Open the door. I'm out in the hallway now next to the mail chute. Go two steps to the east, go into my office. I'm in your office now, Claire. Oh, hi, Dano. Oh, hi, Claire. Hey. <laughs> I thought you were calling from home. Uh, oh, did you? Why would you think that? Just an assumption. I, I guess I made an ass of you and me. <laughs> <laughs> think of the money we'll save on long distance calls. Then I want you, what's that box by the corner of my desk there? Oh my gosh, Claire, this yeah. box of stamps in your 1930s yes. oak and roll top desk looks yeah. remarkably like my missing box of stamps. Hang on just a second. Can I just rummage through here real quick? Yeah. Oh my, Claire, this is my stapler. It's my, your stuff, Dano. This is the plastic rain scarf that I keep for those rainy afternoons when I have to run out to Broadway to catch a show. Dano, you've been nap walking. What? You've been nap walking. You know, every afternoon at 2.30, you take a nap. Right after my coffee and whorehound drops. I'm so tired of it, I, but I don't know what to do. You're like a crow. You bring something shiny from your office every nap. You walk it and you dump it in my office. It's so weird, Claire. I must be attracted to the chaise long you keep in the corner. Yes. That's where you hide your whorehound. Wow. So yeah. you're telling me that every afternoon after my coffee and whorehound, I doze off, I walk in my sleep, come in with vintage items from my antique desk and yes. put them in your vintage desk. Yes. While I'm sitting there, I, and I'm terrified to wake you up because, you know, they say if you wake a sleepwalker, they'll kill you immediately. Claire, that's what happened at my last podcast. What? You know, fortunately, these calls are just between you and me, and we're not even on the phone anymore. I'm so glad we're still talking on the phone. It gives me a sense of security. Sure. Yeah. At any point, you could put me on hold and call 911. All right. Well, enough of this chit chat. Let's get down yeah. to business, shall we? Yes. We have so much. Take your things back to your office, and we'll continue this call. I'm so glad that you picked up today. Yeah, there is a lot going on that I need to talk to you about. Uh, You've been doing the books lately. Um, The Honor System granola bars that we have out on the coffee Mm -hmm. table in the lounge for our guests. How's that going? Well, uh, so we, I had put out 25 bars at 25 cents a piece. Okay. I'm just doing the math real quick. Go ahead. And there are now uh, 18 bars. 18 bars. And 75 cents. So I can't quite, I can't quite figure it out. So basically what this is telling me is that 75% of the people who come into our office are dishonest. Well, before we jump to those kinds of conclusions, I've been eating a lot of them. Oh, oh, oh. I don't I didn't know whether to put that in the books because I'm an employee. Okay, Claire. So that accounts for the coffers being light and your thighs being heavy, if I may say. No, you may not say actually. It, literally it's in my contract. 
that you may not comment on my weight. I'm sorry. I don't want to get personal. Thank you. You do okay. what you got to do. But the thing is, every calorie gained is a nickel lost from our honor system. Well, I didn't know that I was supposed to be paying for those bars. You didn't know that you were supposed to be honorable is what you're saying. I don't. I, of course, I'm an employee. It doesn't apply to me. And I'm also part owner. Claire, if you are not honorable, how can we expect, you know, the riffraff that we bring onto our show, into our lobby to do the right thing? How can we expect them to be honorable? This points to a bigger problem, if you don't mind me okay. moving the topic along. It's yeah. just that I've actually been eating those bars so that the guests can't get at them. It's impossible for them to talk on a podcast with a mouthful of dry oats. Oh, Claire, we've been getting so many letters, and I didn't even realize what that was referring to. Uh, guest is completely indecipherable. Uh, I thought these podcasts were written, but I can't understand a word. Also, the cost of the microphone cover replacement has just been gastronomic. My apologies. You were doing the honorable thing, and I didn't even realize. You know, you. you are like, uh, do you know the word copperhead? No, I'm not familiar with it. Yeah, you're a copperhead of the Expertise podcast. In the American Civil War, the copperheads were uh, Southerners who were loyal to the Union. And you were like, um, you know, a non-honest granola bar eater who was loyal to the podcast by eating granola bars. Thank you. I'm going to start calling you. Oh, oh sorry. easy, easy. Uh, we just got a letter, Claire. What is she even saying? I can't understand a word. Um, well, I'm I'm glad you've you've come around and, and seen the heroism in my in my eating and my acts of eating. Do you, do you mind if I charge the company with the, my new pants? I've had to size up. Sometimes I feel like these business calls we really get a lot done. I feel like we covered some essentials today. This has been a very productive meeting, and I appreciate you I, allowing me to make some comments that maybe were not mine to make, but needed to be made just the same. Needed uh, to? I'm not sure they needed to be made. I, you know, the timbre of my thighs is n never going to be inappropriate. Claire, sometimes I'm just reading from an inner office memo. Oh, you know, you're right. You're right. I I thank you for hearing me, Dano. And oh, I can't help but hear you sidle across the room to the granola bar. And I thank you for making changes. Um, or making change, actually. Do you have change for a dollar bill? Because I oh, yeah. really need a granola bar right now. Thank you. Sure, you bet. Talk to you soon, Claire. Bye, Dano.